Hello and welcome to this AQA Further Math Statistics video, the second in the series um, looking at errors in tests 2, and this time looking at type 2 errors in the context of the continuous normal distribution. So if we just have a bit of a reminder about the definition of a type 2 error, a type 2 error is this time when we incorrectly accept the null hypothesis. You'll recall with a type 1 error we incorrectly reject the null hypothesis, but with a type 2 error we're talking about accepting the null hypothesis. And that means that we can regard it as a false negative, that we from our sample do not detect change, but in fact that's an error due to the nature of our sample, and in fact our population parameter had changed. And so if we think of it like this, it's the probability we accept the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is false. And if you just think about the implications of the null hypothesis being false, obviously at the beginning of a test you would state something along the lines of mean equals 22.3, and that's what we assume is true for all our calculations. If we are now having to work out the probability of acceptance given this is false, we do need to be given in our scenario more information about, in this case, the population mean and what its actual value is. And with a type 1 error, you recall that was denoted with the symbol alpha because it linked to the significance level of the test. A type 2 error is denoted with the Greek letter beta. So if we now look at an example, and you might want to pause for a moment here because there's a lot of information being given to you. So perhaps pause and just spend a moment reading through and thinking what you're being told. We're talking about carrying out our hypothesis test on a mean, and that's time for a disease to be cured. And we're looking at whether the mean for new treatment has changed from the current mean of 42 days. So that setting, if you like, our null hypothesis at mu equals 42. Um, we are given the population standard deviation, which is 4.5. We are taking a sample of 64 people. And we are going to work out x bar, our sample mean, four times to cure for these 64 people and we're told, and this is slightly different for you, but we are given the critical values for this test so that would mean that if our mean sample time was less than 40.9 or less than or equal to 40.9 or greater than or equal to 43.1 we would uh, feel we had significant evidence to reject our null hypothesis but if our mean from this sample of 64 people fell between 40.9 and 43.10, we would accept our null hypothesis. And we are asked here to work out the probability of uh, making a type 2 error when in fact the actual value for mu for the new disease is different from 42 and we're given that further information that the mean time for the disease to be cured with the new treatment is actually 41.2 days. So there's just a, a summary of all that information again and for a type 2 error of course we need to accept the null hypothesis so that means that we need our sample mean from our sample of 64 to lie between our critical values but in the case that H0 is false and that's when we are told that actually the mean time for the new treatment is 41.2 so that's our probability of accepting H0 given that H0 is false and we have that extra information to tell us what the actual mean is. So this is just down to using your calculator to work out um, a probability. 
and do remember here that although we have been told that the mean is 41.2 and that's what we're going to use in this case the standard deviation for x bar doesn't equal 4.5 as we were given for the standard deviation for individual times the standard deviation will be 4.5 divided by root n which is root 64 or 4.5 divided by by 8 and so just check that you're confident uh, about what values to put into your calculator to obtain that answer so the probability of acceptance given that our null hypothesis is false and we know a different value for mu is this area here and the value is 0.703 and therefore our probability of a type 2 error is 0.703 and that concludes this video.